In order to be healthy, we need a healthy environment. All animals and plants are needed to have a balanced and healthy environment. However, we have a problem. People are destroying habitats all the time. Many people are not mindful of the ripple effect their actions have on harming the global environment. For example, if we eliminate coyotes, we will have an overpopulation of rabbits, which would eat too much vegetation. This would result a more imbalance with all the other animals that depend on the vegetation. Farmers would be mad to have rabbits eating up their crops, so eliminating just one species causes a chain reaction that ultimately harms people as well. Another example of how human actions harm the global environment is when we continue to cut down trees. There will be less oxygen for us to breathe and this hurts all life on Earth. Scientists estimate that 150 to 200 species of plants, insects, birds and animals become extinct every 24 hours. According to the Center for Biological Diversity, unlike past mass extinctions caused by events like asteroid strikes, volcanic eruptions, and natural climate shifts, the current crisis is almost entirely caused by us, humans. In fact, 99% of presently threatened species are at risk from human activities, primarily those driving habitat loss, introduction of exotic species, and global warming. Biodiversity is very important for our Earth. However, it is being ruined by human actions destroying Earth's environments. You can help improve the situation by creating healthy habitats in your own backyard, schoolyard, or community garden. Be mindful about your own surroundings and how you can help. Planting and preserving different kinds of vegetation, such as local plants and trees, are some ways to make habitats for different types of insects and animals. This will help make a more secure environment and help develop biodiversity on a small scale. But remember, every little bit helps. How can we help the environment stay healthy and balanced? We must preserve the biodiversity by not allowing any species to become extinct or endangered. Biological diversity ensures the survival and reproduction of each species. No matter how big or small, all life plays a very important role. The good health of all species, including humans, depends on the health of the ecosystem in which we live. All members in the ecosystem have an effect on one another. Humans are one species that are causing great imbalance in the ecosystem. We are causing much change and destruction to many habitats and species. Ecosystems hang in a delicate balance, so when one species goes extinct or endangered, imbalance occurs and all the other species must somehow adjust if they can. At the rate of our present changes, we will all be negatively affected. Our biodiversity in Florida is in danger because of a growing percentage of extinct and endangered animal and plant species. My class and I were devastated when we found out that our state officials were allowing a bear hunt. We researched this issue and took action. We sent our commissioners letters voicing our opinions about this cruel decision. We told them that bears are only a threat because people keep taking over their dwindling territory and leaving their trash out. In our letters to the commissioners, we provided information regarding the important role bears play as top predators of the food chain in this area. No matter where you may live on Earth, there are dangers to the biodiversity. You can help to preserve your immediate surroundings by assisting officials who make decisions make the right ones. Not for quick profits, but for long-term benefits. This is biodiversity and you can find it anywhere. Being mindful of your community and worldly events is what good stewards of the earth should do. Because without a healthy earth, how could we be healthy?
We are the ones with voices, and we must use them to make positive changes. You can voice your opinions by contacting your local, state, and federal representatives by using scientifically researched facts and logical reasons policymakers should listen to you. After all, they are working for the good of all citizens. To be healthy, we need a clean environment consisting of elements to sustain life, such as clean air, water, and land. Using forms of energy that do not pollute our environment will help us survive in the future. Non-fossil fuels like solar, wind, and water are good choices for power. Our class, class wrote letters to persuade the governor and our lawmakers to consider alternative fuels and new technologies to replace CO2 emitting fossil fuels. We were inspired by the idea to stop hydraulic fracturing, fracturing in Florida, especially because of our fragile water ecosystem and aquifers here. It would be disastrous if chemicals and foreign matter leaked into our water. We must be mindful of the bills and policies our elected officials are debating about. As citizens, we have the responsibility to make sure decision makers preserve our environmental health. After all, we are all connected in one global environment.